I get up. Here we go. <laughs> There's always been a really strong kind of music scene out here, so as a, as a sort of band, we've had no shortage of venues to go and play in. And mm, yeah. But yeah, particularly around Warrandyte, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of festivals and Battle of the Bands kind of things that you can get involved in that mm. we all did a lot of when we were even younger, because sort of me and Liam played in bands and Josh and Sam busked, and we've all played in different things at different times. And yeah, but there's definitely a lot of support, like being a band growing up in this area, like, the, where every gig you play, you do get the kind of local community. We had we had that for many years, you know, just like the same kind of crew that would come and watch us play. Yeah. Now a lot of them will be from this area. So mm, that, that yeah. There's a, there's there's a, real a strong line. appreciation for the creative arts and things out mm. here that we've definitely has yeah. helped, I think. Yeah, totally. Mm. And we never went looking for gigs. That was the thing. We'd get a yeah. phone call and it'd be like, can you play this party? Can you come play the pub? Mm. And we'd be like, are we free? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is. I mean, this is a this is a beautiful area to grow up up out here in the Yarra Valley. It's um, it's a really strong kind of music scene out here as well. You know, a bit of a shout out. You know, here we are in the St Andrews pub, and it's um, this is uh, this is our old stomping ground of where we um, played some of our first gigs. Yeah. I think this is actually the St Andrews pub. This is the the place we did our first gig as this, where I played bass, you played drums. You know, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it probably would have been. Probably about yeah. 2007, 2008. This is, this is essentially where it began, yeah. yeah. Melbourne just has those good <laughs> small to mid-sized venues that you can go and mm. see a good band that hasn't really broken yet. Maybe, I think the, there's just like a really big um, mix of sizes of venues as well. So as an artist, but as a punter, there's a real mixture of different kind of gigs you can go see. Well, I think we're really lucky. Um, mm. Other cities you go to don't seem to have that continuity of um, across live music venues and mm. stuff. But um, I think yeah. Melbourne... It, it seems like Melbourne really is, is so supportive of music as well, because I was kind of noticing that around the world, as we're touring around the world and just thinking about, oh, like, how hard it is when you put on a show and you know, you've got, you know, it seems to not really turn over as much money and then you kind of like, yeah. here, it, it seems to, I don't know, you have a much better leg up here for some reason, it just seems the, um, the economy of the music yeah. is like, is really strong and the art, the artist sort of power is really strong, I think, yeah. and there seems to be a lot of venues that really support, you know, artists and, and even with the, as far as, you know, how well people are paid, how well musicians are paid, I mean, sort of trying to break it in America is like, it's yeah. tough, like, and they just the, the just the general yeah, sort of support for the for the artists is nowhere near as strong as here. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's going in the uh, interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>